Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Planes, Spectrum Forward Programming, video part two. In the first video, we set up the receiver, we mounted it correctly, we bound it to the transmitter, and inside forward programming, we set the correct receiver orientation. So right now, let's just go through our control service check, just making sure everything is set up still everything's good to go elevator up elevator down and rudder left rudder right right aileron up left aileron up throttle the little blue flag full throttle no throttle throttle cut on so let's go and access forward programming and we got a kitty cat saying hi Back to gyro settings. Let's take a look inside here real quick. Everybody has it their own, does it their own way. This is the way I do it. We're going to set the flight mode. Okay, flight mode is, is for video purposes, two modes safe on, safe off. Both the safe on and the safe off will have AS3X active. Don't forget, AS3X is separate than Safe Select. The AS3X is for the wind. That's to help stabilize the plane. The safe is what keeps you level. So let's go into flight mode setup. And at this point, we need to pick a channel we're going to use. Most likely, it's your gear channel, unless you have a plane with landing gear. And a two or three position switch and we're just going to have two flight modes. So let's go to flight mode channel. And this is important that you need to make sure that you have a channel available to turn safe on and off. If you're limited in your amount of available channels, now once again Throttle is a channel, aileron is a channel, elevator is a channel, rudder is a channel. That's four right there. If you've got a six channel transmitter, flaps and landing gear are six. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> so we're going to go to flight mode channel. We're going to take it from inhibit and I'm going to use my gear switch since our plane does not have landing gear. So now, gear is the channel for our flight mode. Okay, now what switch are we gonna use to operate the gear channel? With most of these transmitters, you can just tap on it and then move the switch that you want to use. I just flipped my A switch that is most always set up for gear, but it's now on the gear, and next. So now, when you flip the, the A switch, the gear switch, you can see where it says flight mode three, and I flipped it, we got flight mode one. Flight three, flight one. Why does it skip number two? I don't know. And as you can see, right now in flight mode one, AS3X is active. And that's all that is going on in flight mode one. We flip the switch, flight mode three is the exact same. So they're both, with AS3X, both flight modes. That's all that we have. So, back button. First time safe setup. Pretty important right here. Before setting up safe, a flight mode channel must be configured. We've already done that, so we go to continue. Select the desired flight mode switch position to adjust settings for each flight mode. All right, next. Your AS3X gains must be tuned. 
That's more we can go into in another video. Next. Level the model to capture the attitude. Now, when it says level, this is level flight. If you were setting up the forward programming with a tail dragger plane like this one, that is not level flight. Right now, we're figuring out level flight for the safe select to hold the plane level. If you told the receiver that this was level flight, then when safe was turned on, the plane would be flying up. So we need to level the plane, okay? You need to get it level. Use a level. Use your awesome eyeballs. The plane needs to be level. Front to back, side to side. Level. Back to our test plane and we have it sitting level. Now we're going to press where it says level model and capture the attitude. Okay, You've got your plane level front to back, side to side, it's level, level flight. And now we're going to press level model and capture the attitude. Now it has decided that level flight is negative 10 in the roll and negative 2 in the pitch. And that could be possible on your particular situation. Just if you don't have a perfectly flat bed to put your receiver on, and let's, let's say you had to have it on an angle a little bit, there was no way around it, then yes that could be level flight. Let's take a look real quick here. I'm going to set this on top of the receiver. And my bubble is actually off a little bit. The plane needs to be... Let's see if I can get it to... It needs to be more... This way, right there. Now I'm going to click level model and capture the attitude again that's closer to level in your particular situation you need to make sure your plane is level if your receiver is off a little bit that's possible so it could actually be a level flight does it does that make sense you know if your plane was a we'll call it a perfect brick and your receiver was mounted to the brick and it was sitting on a perfectly level concrete floor then the roll and the pitch would all be zeros okay but the thickness of the double-sided sticky tape on the under the receiver could be a little higher on one side versus the other the plane the foam is not perfect the receiver could be off just a little bit so we're going to call those numbers right there perfect in our situation for level flight. So next. All right, so pay attention here to the flight mode three and we can flip our switch. Flight mode one, okay? So flight mode three, safe is inhibited. And in flight mode one, safe is inhibited. So what position of this switch do you want to have safe select on? In my case, I want the switch back towards me to have safe select on. And that's where it's at right now. Forward is mode 3 and back is mode 1. So when it's back, I want to have safe select on. So where it says safe mode inhibited, we're going to change it to either self-leveling angle demand which is the full safe select or you can do the envelope which is limited bank angles but we're going to set it to the self-leveling angle demand okay and next and apply notice the plane did the double dances so that tells you the safe select is active 
and you, know, you got it on a switch, you can turn it off and on. So, we'll go back here to gyro settings and a flight mode setup. Okay, so the switch is back towards me. Flight mode one shows AS3X is active and it shows that safe mode is set to self level angle demand. Now, when I flip the our flight mode switch forward, now AS3X is active and safe is off. So, when our switch is for, in forward, it's in flight mode three, AS3X only. If we flip the switch backwards, we have the AS3X and safe select in a safe self-leveling and angle demand. Now, these are other settings you can play with. For this section of the video, we're only doing what we've done. And let's make sure that we uh, got safe going. All right, let's make sure our safe is going. I got the switch back towards me. The easiest way to test if your safe select is on is just turn the plane upside down. See how the ailerons go? Uh, I have a hard time saying that. See how they're fully deflecting? They're trying to roll the plane over. And then once the plane is level, then the ailerons go level. So you want to make sure you got your maiden flight. You want this thing to fly just like you bought a bind and fly with safe select. All right, so when you're in your flight mode where safe select is on, you want to make sure that your ailerons, ailerons, I can't say it, are level, and you want to make sure that your elevator is level. The safe select, roll and pitch. And your ailerons are roll, and the elevator's pitch. It doesn't do anything with the rudder, okay? So right now, safe select is on, and we've got ailerons level, and we've got the elevator level. So right this second, I'm going to turn safe select off, and if the plane was in a nosedive, now watch the yellow elevator. When I turn safe select on, it's going to move the elevator to try to bring the nose back up, okay? I'm going to turn safe on. Elevator went up. So now the plane is going to come back down to level flight, and the elevator is level. Now you've got your new plane, you're at the field, you've got it sitting level. If it's a tail dragger, you got the back picked up. <clears throat> you bound up your plane, you're turning safe select on and off. When the plane is level and you turn safe on, the control surfaces shouldn't move because the plane is already level, okay? So safe is off right now. Watch the ailerons when I turn on safe. See, they're moving because it wants to level the plane out. Safe select is off. Watch the elevator. I just turned safe on. The elevator moved a little bit. Just because this, for demonstration purposes, is not perfectly level. Safe off. Safe on. Safe on, safe off. See the elevator's not moving. So before you fly, when you turn safe on and your plane is level, if the control surfaces don't move, then that is what safe select is going to do when you're flying. It's going to keep the plane level. So safe select off, throttle cut off, give it a little bit of throttle. So now the AS3X is active and the control surfaces will move with a gust of wind. Watch the red aileron. If a gust of wind blows the wing up, so does the aileron to counter counteract to the wind. You know, if a gust of wind blows it up, the aileron moves up, try to push it back down. Watch the elevator here. See it going up? That's for 
stable. That's for your AS3X, it's for the wind to help give you a level flight. AS3X does the rudder as well. Look at it. It's not moving as much. We can change the gains to get more sensitivity and so on. Okay guys, hey, that's all for part two. So we got the flight mode channel set up. In our case, we got two flight modes, safe select on and AS3X, and then the other flight mode is AS3X only. We verified that we'll have level flight, and we verified that the safe works when the switch is turned on. So that's all for this video. The next video, we'll talk about the safe uh, select gains and the AS3X gains and the settings for the gains. And then at that point, you can go fly. So that's all for this one. Subscribe if you haven't and ring the notification bell so you don't miss video number three. And until next time, you'll see me here. Thank you, guys. Pew.